So, sorry, it's, I've been kind of sporadic with the videos lately. Um, had a lot going on in real life. I'm afraid I post another little rant video. Uh, just about a few things, really. And maybe check out some drop rates. I'm sitting on a lot of boxes right now, so we'll take a look at those. Um, I finished the event. I ended up claiming 2 million points for res, so I topped off a little bit on that. It's really hard to top off the, this res, but it's kind of nice that we do have events like this at least once a month where... You know, there's a lot of old tech, a lot of old tech, uh, and then a little bit of new tech, and then, you know, again, a lot of old tech. So, um, and the boxes really aren't that bad in terms of points-wise to get them, and you actually don't have to claim all the res now, which is nice. That was something that came out of this last update. You don't have to claim all this res in order to get the res payout. Uh, that being said, if there is anything specific in here, I would claim it because it's a little bit better points-wise, uh, but still there's not enough of it. Uh, for example, I was short on antimatter, so I ended up claiming a lot of antimatter and claimed a few more things in antimatter. So uh, after the res payout, I got, I got you know, a couple hundred million more. So, uh, but yeah, it just ended. We're going into a civil war tomorrow, so hopefully I'm going to be around a little more tomorrow. Um, 
before the Civil War. You guys get to see how I use these last 800 mil, uh, coins that I have left uh, before I put any more coin on the account. I just like to see where I can get on less than a thousand usually is what I do. So, um, like I said, I got a lot of boxes during this event. It was actually pretty cool that you could hit the 40s. Uh, for you know a little bit of damage but if you had the right fleet or you were just doing it for fun or we even I, I had a couple buddies that uh, finished the event just hitting the 40s 50s and 60s um, that used something similar to the strategy that I posted and they got a lot of boxes too and they got a lot of ships from it so um, I'm not gonna claim each one of these individually but just going through you can kind of see oh boy that's a lot of decimator mark threes uh, a couple annihilator boxes uh, some gold event boxes, so I pretty much got, obviously I got all the gold event boxes, so those just go all the way down. Uh, then I got the core boxes, so I actually like the core boxes because now you can craft those things up, so um, it just saves from having to farm all the time. I usually get all the core boxes all the time, uh, and then I use a lot of cores, and you can craft them all the way up if you want. So the silver event boxes, the one thing that I liked about this is you could get these wing credits. I actually didn't go through, and, and the same thing with the gold actually, you have the wings, and I mentioned that in my video, I didn't go through and coin my refits, I already used some wing credits that we were given a, a few events ago that I was kind of like, why the hell do I have these? Well, now I, I kind of saw where there was a point in giving them out to people. Uh, so it was nice to get those because now we had all these slots added to different modules that I still have a few to add things to. And then Aurora 3, love Aurora. Um, I'm glad that they kind of brought it back in the last update and the experience was lowered a lot. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just open all these boxes and see what I get. Uh, a couple Mark III Decimator patterns, don't really think I needed that, but I definitely needed the Mark IV Annihilator pattern. Um, desperately short on those, and I only had a couple of those boxes, so that was nice. Well, here you see. Uh, I probably had, what, six of those boxes maybe? I don't know. Something close to that. Um, so some cutter cores, some battleship cores. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, how I feel about these cutter cores and battleship cores. I really feel like, uh, I'll, I'll get to it. Um, a couple of Lance Destroyers, Dreads. A lot of these are going to be, I mean, I'm going to save them for res every now and then when I'm low on resources. I'll take these ships that they give us and I'll just throw them out there and, you know, I'll scrap them and take the res and use it to build a fight. Um, some T4 carrier cores, that's always good. I still actually am a firm believer in the Ragnarok. I fly a lot below level 55. Uh, again, slightly because the skill factor above level 55 is just irritating. Uh, yeah, you have a lot more health on ships above 55, and in certain circumstances, against demon core ships, you can do a lot of damage for a very low repair. But in most situations, when you're using your, um, when you're using you know the decimators and the punishers, you take a lot of damage. And the guy with the decimator fleet, I'm just here to tell you, he's automatically going to win because he can do you know, 14,000 DPS with 10 hours of repair. So all he needs to do is get one volley in and he causes a crap load of damage. He gets a second volley in and if they're split, if his damage is split amongst a bunch of your ships, uh, he's gonna do a lot of damage. So if with the right pilot, uh, you can actually go through, and, I, and I'll show you guys here in a minute, uh, a fight that I had earlier today, just for giggles, and I actually lose the fight, so props to the oops guy. Um, but yeah, so these Martin or tier four court, uh, core boxes, they're not a bad thing to get, just going back into that. Four more Aurora 3 credits, I'm absolutely cool with that. Vector Torpedo Turret, I actually wish, and I'll get into that here in a minute, like I said, this is a bit of a rant episode, so. Um, just going down, only one more Bomber 3, uh, no, oh there we go, three Interceptor Wing credits, um, and some resources. So that's kind of cool, some more armaments. Um, so, oh, where should I start? Uh, oh, here you go. You can see what I'm sitting on. Like I said, I don't really do the coin offer, so all this is stuff that I've gotten just through doing, actually hitting the fleets. Um, so, starting at the top, uh, I kind of went into, well, you can see here, I don't have a whole lot of uh, decimated crafting stuff. I really don't. Um, same thing with the, with the Annihilator, and I only have one Mark II decimator right now. Uh, and I only have one you know, Mark VI pattern. But I only have one Mark II Decimator, so you can see what I've not used a whole lot of. Um, 
Mark II patterns, for example, but I only have one and I have five Mark III's. Uh, a lot of that just goes into the fleets that I hit too. I'm, I'm probably going to start hitting more of these fleets to get more of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's beside the point. Or beside the point, I should say. Um, Punisher stuff. We really haven't seen a whole lot of it in a while. They've had a few events where they release it, but for the most part, you get a lot more Annihilator and Decimator stuff. And I'm looking forward to the new, uh, I think it's called the Exterminator Destroyer uh, patterns and stuff that we're going to see in the, the upcoming Alien events. Um, so here's what I was getting at, though. The amount of cores that I have for those is absolutely and utterly ridiculous. We need better pattern drop rates if this is the kinds of the, the amount of cores that we're getting. Uh, same thing with the battleship. I have 84 cores. Obviously, I've hit a lot of those fleets. I don't do any of the coin deals. I have three Mark Threes and a Mark II Annihilator. I still have 84 cores, and I've used, let's see, that's at least 35. I've used 35 of them. I have 84 left. So at one point, I, I've had over 100, we'll say, what's what's that, 120-something, roughly, 119-something, 100, uh, 119 or 129. I'm not mathing very well tonight, but you get the idea. I've had over 100 of them, and I still only have, uh, you know, I've used every Mark III pattern that I've gotten. I'm actually currently making a Mark, another Mark III, so that's, uh, you know, 120 to 130 of those cores. Um, but a lot of them were actually in this ballpark. I was getting the Mark IV boxes and I wasn't getting Mark IV patterns. And I've even gotten a couple Mark V boxes with no Mark V patterns. So those pattern drops are really, really bad. Uh, much worse than they need to be. If it was fair and balanced, you'd get one pattern every five, maybe I'd even go with seven hits. That'd be fair. Give it like a, a one in seven chance again one. But it's, it's a lot worse than one in seven. But... I think that's something that can be adjusted, and I think they'll be easier to get as time goes on, just like uh, the Decimator has been, but I haven't been hitting those. I've been hitting for these, so I've kind of foregone any chance of getting these. Um, but yeah, uh, where else is I going with that? Oh yeah, and here you can see a pretty good depiction of what I've gotten on you know, parts, so that's after I've used you know, virtually none of these and a lot of these. That's just how I feel about it, though. Um, what have they? What else have they done recently? Oh yeah, this new fleet. Huh. I I don't mind these. I'm looking forward to the new armor coming out. Hopefully that'll be coming out in the next couple weeks. But there was one point that I was getting to, and that was a fight that I had earlier, and that's with the decimators, right? So here you see he's got six Mark Six decimators, um, which again the Mark Six decimators I expect them to do a lot of damage and not take very much. But for the amount, I'm running five Punishers. Two of them are Mark Six. The other one's a Mark Three. All of them have 20k uh, hit points, and then my carriers, whatever, in this fight because it's not going to do anything. Uh, but watch this replay. It's it's a pretty quick replay because uh, most fights with decimators are going to be pretty quick. So I actually try to do something a little bit strategic. He just makes a blob and kind of rushes in, and I try changing my angles and whatnot. And I actually get the first shots in, and I don't even kill that thing. And, I mean, these are high-level punishers with all of them have uh, the level 2 Xeno Disintegrator Rays. And he just kind of comes through and one-shots all of my punishers one at a time. Um, and I can't really... There's no defense against this. Uh, it's not good piloting. So this is why you probably don't see me fly Xeno that often. It's not because I can't or because I... It's just literally because I'm not going to fight this. And I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, and I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying if you don't see me flying Xeno, this is why. Because this I don't necessarily think is something that... Uh, there's not a whole lot of skill to it, you know, I, and I'm not all about that. I fly with as much skill as I possibly can, um, and I try to leave it there, and really, what else can I, he's faster than me, he's going to catch me, uh, he, even if I spread my ships out, it's not like he's dealing massive amounts of volley damage, you know, like, or not volley, but area effect damage that's causing me to die. It's literally just because he has such a massive amount of DPS, and it'd be worth it, if I could, uh, you know, if, if I could stop it, um, but you, you can't, or if there was something that I could do against it, but there's really nothing you can do against it. This is literally the ultimate fleet and Vega conflict right now, and I don't have it, and I'm butthurt about it. Uh, just kidding. I'm really not butthurt about it, and I could have it if I wanted it. I just, I don't really want it. Um, but, 
yeah, that's kind of how I feel about that. Uh, So yeah, gating changes, uh, CM Chris, I believe it is, uh, the community manager has stated, I've seen the screenshot, it's been a minute since I looked for it, it's been a few, a while actually, I feel like it's been probably a week since the update and since he came out and said it, but um, gating is going to be lifted again. I, we, I haven't seen what to yet, uh, but I can say with full assurity that even though uh, even if they hadn't said it, gating would be changing, especially on bases, because this flea right here, these snipers with two of my revelate or my uh, what's that new stinging cruiser Punisher decoys, this fleet lost to a it's lost to a couple high end level 69s. A lot of that was was my inexperience uh, at basing. I'm really rusty on basing, but. It tears up anything below level 69. I mean, even some level 69 bases. There's a lot of variables that come into play with modules being spaced apart or not spaced apart. And uh, especially if my decoys were fitted for sniping. And really, when they come out with a projectile uh, Xeno damage resistance armor, that's going to make the perfect decoy for, you know, for your ships. So... That's going to be really interesting to see what kind of changes they have to make on bases because a lot of my issue is that I am really ex inexperienced in sniping these days. I haven't done it in a while. Bases have changed a lot. But some people are still really good at it. So somebody else with this fleet in their hands could probably do amazing things. Um, I'm just your average uh, sniper and, and you know pilot in general. I love playing the game because piloting is the fun part, but there's not as much skill that's gone into basing lately, so I haven't been doing it as much, and medals really don't mean anything in the game right now. Hopefully, they'll do something with that, but we've been saying that for years now, so I wouldn't expect anything to come anytime soon other than you know these rankings that come, bam, right here, right near Alliance board. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think, I definitely think that um, what I would like to see in terms of, of level, I would like to see level 65 be the new, um, yeah, between 60 and 65. It's either 60 or 65. Um, probably a lot of, the, I'm expecting them to raise it to level 60 for both fleets and bases. I said it and I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. I think that fleets should actually be gated at two points. I think that level... 60 should have its own gate and I think that level uh, 70 should have its own gate anything below level 60 is 5 plus or minus anything above level 60 is 5 no yeah is, is a free for all up until 70 and then above 70 is another free for all and a 70 can only go down as far as a 65 um, which kind of sounds like you know I'm just gated all at level 70 screw it gate, gate fleets at level 70 you get a lot higher level fleets than you do bases right now. And I doubt if under the current system that we will ever see a level 90 base, but I've seen several level 90 fleets up to 92. Uh, so I do think that, and that may have changed with the latest update. I haven't really been able to play much um, other than the event and a couple fights here and there. That's why I haven't posted any videos lately. Uh, which is also why I'm kind of posting this now. Uh, I know a lot of people, I, I personally like to just sit and listen to videos while I'm driving to and from work, or even while I'm playing, I'll listen to people talk about it. So hopefully, you know, you like this video um, for that purpose. But yeah, I do think that bases should get a bump up to level 60. Uh, and I do think that fleets should get a bump up to level 70. We'll see what they do with that. The last couple gates, they did do a, a 10 level uh, variation with bases versus fleets, uh, something like that. So I can't even remember, they've, they've changed the gates so much recently. Uh, I think this has been changed, what, two or three times this year maybe? Um, but, you know, it's it's a game, there, it's an open beta game specifically. So those things are going to change. Um, Here's the low-level sniper. This is what I was using prior to the update. Well, not even the update. Prior to probably Demon Core uh, being released was this right here. I actually never built any Damocles. Um, 
I just recently got, you know, all these Damocles during the last event. And it wasn't even this event. I didn't go for a single level 40 on this account. These were all during the last uh, decimation. I was all excited, like, yeah, well, I'm going to get a Damocles. And at the same time, I also knew that I was probably going to coin a fleet of these, which eh, money well spent, maybe, maybe not. But I'm probably going to fit the new Xeno weapons. I think that this is going to change sniping. I don't think that you'll see the old two cruiser decoy with, with three of these bad boys, or four of these bad boys, or, or maybe three in a carrier. I think that we're probably more likely to see uh, three and three, honestly, three Punishers and three of these once we get the Xeno version of this gun. I think the Xeno version is going to be really, really powerful. Um, which is why I think Kicks Eye is preloading us with uh, the ability to make our combat modules look like this. Uh, 36,000 health points. That's this literally minus, I think, one shield slot. This is the stats on the on the bridges as of a couple months ago this is what your bridge was and it was the hardest thing you know on your base to kill and now all of our modules can look like that um, and i'm still in the process of working all of my modules up um but yeah it's it's going to be really really interesting and i just realized that i don't actually have anything building i'm gonna have to fix that but uh yeah so anyways that was just a little rant i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh click like if you like it and subscribe if you want to hear more i will be putting out more videos and with the civil war coming up you can definitely expect a civil war montage probably the day following maybe the night of so look forward to that it's been a while since i posted some cool fights with you know fun techno music uh so yeah have a good one guys thanks for watching